the big news that happened last week, and I think this is another thing that just so happened to happen on a Thursday, or is at least a news-wise released on the Thursday evening, Billy Jack Haynes. CBS, this report is from. Former professional wrestler William Albert Billy Jack Haynes Jr. has been taken into custody in connection with the death of his wife in Portland, authorities say. Portland police said in a statement that Haynes, 70, was in police custody at a local hospital undergoing treatments for a medical condition unrelated to the homicide or his contact with law enforcement. Haynes was identified by police as the suspect in the fatal shooting of Jeanette Beecraft, 85. Police said they responded Thursday to reports of a shooting in Portland neighbourhood and requested help from special teams, including crisis negotiators. CBS affiliate KOIN-TV reported that Haynes was detained two hours after two hours of negotiations. Police found Beecraft dead inside the home. So, this is almost like a Vince McMahon thing. It's like you're shocked, but not somehow not surprised. Mm. Well, I forgot who wrote me and told me, have you read about Billy Jack? Now, you know, Billy Jack worked basically, he's worked both coasts. He's worked East Coast and West Coast. But in his later years, I think he kind of stayed out in Oregon. And I'm reading up on this because I met him in Florida. And then I met him again, I think, I'm when I was in... I think WCW, I think, maybe. But I remember one time, I forgot where we were, like in Roanoke or somewhere, and the, the event manager, he came in, and I kind of knew him pretty pretty well. And he said, and Billy Jack just had his match. He says, watch this, I'm going to rip Billy Jack. Oh, it's going to be funny as hell. And I had I knew Billy Jack, and I knew of his hot temper, and I forgot who was with me. We both said at the same time, "Oh, don't do that," because he won't like that at all, and he'll probably beat the living crap out of you. And he said, well, "What do you mean? He's a nice guy." I said, "Yeah, do you piss him off?" Because Billy Jack, he was another one who was a little bit off. Had a great body, had a great look to him, but ment mentally he wasn't there. I mean, in real life, he wasn't there. So, and in reading about this this woman Beecraft, is that her name? Beecraft. It's a surname, Jeanette Beecraft. Yeah. Okay, and I heard they they never got married. They did. Or she get would married. have his name, right? They, they did, did get married. Yeah, he, I what? think her actual name was Jeanette Beecraft Haynes. Yeah. Okay, but they didn't list that. Yeah. And I was thinking about that. Why, why wouldn't they call her Haynes if they're married? But anyway, she was a lot older than he was. 15 she was, years, yeah. Yeah, I think she said she was 85 or 86. He was 70, and I'm thinking, and then I read on it more, that she was the wife of a former wrestler. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes, uh, I, I can give you a bit more information. So the story gets weird, as you say. He only married this woman like a year or two ago. So uh, uh, yeah. Jeanette Beecraft Haynes, uh, CBS doesn't list, list the Haynes bit, but I've seen a double-barreled name. Uh, Billy Jack's good friend, Todd Beecraft, was a powerlifter and wrestler in Portland under the name of Todd Rule. He died in November 2021 at the age of 59, one day before his 60th birthday, I believe. After uh, Todd died, Billy Jack married Todd's elderly mother so if we say this is two years ago then billy jack would have been 68 and she would have been 83 and that'd be like you let's say if you decided to get remarried now dutch that'd be like you marrying an, an, a 90 year old woman there's just something a bit weird <laughs> about that sort of age difference at, at that, time. that is that is that is weird really but now you know me so I'm thinking, wait a minute, were they having a lot of arguments or why did he shoot this woman? But she had dementia, correct? So they a mentioned dementia. Said, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> apparently uh, when he was taken into custody, Billy Jack told police that it was a mercy killing because his wife was dealing with dementia. And apparently a neighbor was back the dementia. Well, part up. well I, di I, I didn't hear that, but I was thinking that could have been a mercy killing because she was, she had dementia and dementia really gets bad. It, it really does. And they don't know where they are. They're, 
they're frantic and I, and I'm not calling it that. I'm just saying that somewhere along the line it could be called that. I don't even think he'll uh, he'll 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 serve time for it, but I don't even think they'll just I don't think they'll convict him of first degree murder. I don't. Because he does have he does have a defense, whether that's either true or not, he'd killed a woman, which wasn't right. It's not his place to do that. But and by her having dementia, I would say there's two people in that house that have dementia. He has it too. He has to have it. Because now, and I think you told me right before we went on air that this is the second murder case that he's involved in. He was tried for murder before, right? Supposedly, he was convicted of manslaughter and did time. Apparently, it was a hand-to-hand combat fight in a bar, maybe. Maybe the wrong guy just... There's very little information out there about that, quite frankly, so hopefully someone out there could sort of fill us in more. But apparently, he got into a fight with a guy at a bar. He must have either hit him too hard or whatever, but the guy died. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, Billy Jack was definitely... uh, if you just met him and talked to him, he was like a gentle guy, you know, well-spoken. You wouldn't expect him all of a sudden just to be so – I've heard he's, he, he's, gone, he's gone violent before and really, really hurt people. And you couldn't tell when it was coming on. So, but anyway, I, I hope the best for him. I, I feel sorry for the lady. Uh, Okay, did they get married? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, Before we get off the wife portion, we're going to talk more about Billy Jack as well. Apparently, some people in the wrestling business heard about this marriage and were somewhat suspicious because, I mean, if she she had dementia this bad at 85, and let's say they got married two years ago at 83, she would have surely been showing signs at that point. Because, you know, at that age, dementia generally doesn't just come on so strong that you know you go from completely normal to losing all your faculties whatsoever Mm -hmm. it's not like early onset where that actually does happen but um apparently some people within the business were a bit suspicious when billy married his best friend's mother elderly mother right see when you when you said that earlier i thought it was his best friend's wife no 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 his best friend's mother but it's the mother Mm. Wow. And she's 16 years older than than Billy. About that 15, yeah. And, and I guess his friend was like the same age, maybe, I'm thinking. No, his friend was uh, died at 59 in 2021, so he probably would have been about 62 or 63 this year. So his friend would have been about seven, eight years younger. Mm-hmm. Well... I didn't know that, but it, it is a kind of a, if you try to dissect it and take it apart, like we do, mm-hmm. you're saying, hmm, if this happened here, this happened over there, and then this moved in, and, you know, <laughs> we're trying to, we should, uh, we could crack this case just like that if they just call us. <laughs> he could have, but, he, could, he could have. There's motive, There's well, I don't know, there's suspect motive, essentially, that why would you marry a woman so much older, potentially so, with dementia? Could it have been a marriage of getting money? I don't know. We're just speculating here, of course. I, I, I don't know either. It's the first I've heard of it. I, I didn't even know he was living, but that I don't know who that woman is. I don't even know her son, Todd Rule. I've read his name. But I've never, I've never met him, or even I don't think he's even been to the East Coast. So, what do you think happened over this? He it's, called it a mercy killing, which is not somebody. This is the first time I've ever heard a guy or anybody killing someone and calling it a mercy killing. Oh no, no, but, no I've heard that many times many stories in the well news you're stories. you're in england you're you're around a bunch of wackos so. yeah yeah well that happens here every day <laughs> oh okay but, but no there's but a lot of high profile I, 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 cases I never I've heard that about i never read that before a mercy killing i mean the guy who did it calling it a mercy killing i never heard that we but you have but yeah, you've heard that yeah absolutely absolutely okay it's, it's not i don't want to say it's not uncommon it's not common obviously but i it, I've seen quite a lot of news stories over the years where that has come up as uh, the explanation. We, 
<laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna go to Billy Jack Kane. So you said you first met him in Florida. You then met him in WCW. I think he was doing Black mm-hmm. Blood and Executioner character, which was a uh, uh, roundly not appreciated at the time. I'm gonna come up with some facts that I read about him, and then we're gonna get to some of the uh, weirder things he said in his later life. Apparently, he had the softest handshake in the business. Well, I didn't notice that. I notice when I shake a guy's hand, he just don't haul off and just knock the crap out of me. <laughs> I notice I notice that it's the handshake. And some guys can do it like, you know, it, it's like a little joke backstage who can do it the the lightest. But see, I think that handshake has gone the way of the dinosaur. You know, most guys don't even they do the fist bump now or this whatever, the elbow bump or it's just COVID and I, I never remembered that much anyway, but that was wrestling protocol. When you went into a, a different environment with other talent in there, you know, that's, that's what you do first. You shake their hand and saying, it's like saying, Hey, I'm one of you guys. So let's, let's, let's have a great match or something like that. But he, I guess he did have a, the weakest handshake of all, and that was a that was a badge of honor, more or less. I'm going to give you a couple of random stories about uh, uh, Billy Jack. So apparently, he once knocked out I Mike Sharp. This is when he was in the WWF, mm-hmm. and he was fired from the WWF, according to Greg Valentine, because he passed out on a plane uh, due to taking too much GHB, and the flight attendants got worried, and the flight ended up getting diverted. So apparently, that was mm-hmm. the, according to Greg, the real reason why he was fired uh he went to dallas at some point in the 80s from portland i think and chris uh chris adams was so scared uh, keep in mind chris adams is a tough guy uh, and yeah. um, you, you know a judo practitioner he fled the territory just to get away with them because there was some issue between him and um Jeannie clark who was like his girlfriend and then she married yeah Billy jack which is confusing um we Wait talked, a minute, she married Billy Jack later? She, they were married for a brief period, yeah. So Jeannie Clark was married to Chris Adams at one point, and then Billy Jack yeah. at one point, and then Steve Austin at one point, yeah. Damn. I didn't know that. I didn't know she was married to uh, Billy Jack. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be. And, and Steve, uh, Steve Austin, I kind of remember that. That didn't last long. Lady Blossom. I think she was called as a wow. character. Hell, I learned more in this show than the people do. <laughs> all this is all this is news to me. Yeah, I didn't know that until I read uh, to, oh, my stupid eyesight. Uh, did it, okay, uh, why was why? Okay, tell me this: why was uh, why was the guy scared, Chris be- Adams? Because Billy's unpredictable, and he didn't know no, if Billy no, was going to. No. Yeah. Kill, kill him or not? Yes, basically, kill him or not. That was that was his rep. Here's here's something that's bizarre. It's apparently uh, Billy Jack Haynes. We'll get to Billy Jack and Vince McMahon again after this. But he was angry with Vince McMahon because he paid him too well. Uh, uh, the theory going, <laughs> the theory going that he Vince paid us well because he wanted to own us, which is weird. That is weird. I've never heard that before. Have you ever complained to a promoter and said, you pay me too well? No, no, I, I, I didn't. I didn't say, hey, did you make a mistake? And then, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I never did that. Uh, he, but, uh, I'm just having a little else. Uh, he hated the WWF because he says the WWF also gave him a tryout. This is years after he was fired uh, in 88 for the, the supposed GHB incident. Uh, gave him a tryout in Texas. So he had to drive all the way from Portland to Texas. And then when he got to Texas, they told him that actually uh, there was no tryout for him. And supposedly it was one <laughs> giant it was one giant rib on him to make him drive like 2,000 miles. No. WWF You're denies making that, this. No, I, I think you made it up or somebody... Oh, he probably made it up. I don't know. Well, he probably did. But if he made it up, I, it, it, he... He would have beat the crap out of somebody. 2,000 miles driving. Why did he fly? 
it would have been just as cheap flying almost as paying all that gas and save all that time on your car. And I, I, I don't know. I, I believe Billy Jack was unburdened by genius. You, well, I'm glad Billy Jack's in jail because he would track you down for that. I know, but... Uh, yeah. so, well, let's get through some more of Billy Jack's... He uh, would fly thing. all the way to the UK just to beat the living crap out of you. I don't know. He probably wouldn't be but allowed I in hope, the country I with hope his record. Would, yeah, I'd, I'd hope that he would tell me so I could bring a camera. Right when he landed. <laughs> so I'll, and, and I'll film it. We'd, we'd trick you. We'd trick, I'd say, hey, meet me at the airport, James. Oh, yeah, I'll meet you. And all of a sudden, the Billy Jack Haynes comes out with me. I said, there he is. And then he'd get you. <laughs> That'd be a good rib. Yeah, I'd film it. I, I, can, run, <laughs> I can run quicker now. Hey, think of all the hits we'd get on that. We get a lot. The hits on me. Uh, wrestling wise, Billy Jack Haynes. Here's some of his wackier, excuse me, uh, conspiracy theories. Billy Jack has claimed that just about every single death in wrestling is Vince McMahon's fault, or he had something to do with it in at least the last 20, 30 years. Vince, mm -hmm. Vince McMahon is, a, you know, he's, he's getting closer to it these days, but yeah. Vince McMahon is literally the devil. And he, and, He's saying that Vince McMahon had a hand in all these. Yes, and here's the next one. Vince had an affair with Nancy Benoit, gave birth to Daniel, and then when Chris Benoit found out, it sent him crazy, and that's why he killed himself and his family. That's a new one. Mm, it was, that's I a new one, new one on everybody when he said that one. Mm -hmm. uh, he invented WrestleMania. Now, keep in mind that Billy Jack... <laughs> 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 Keep in mind that Billy Jack Haynes didn't okay. arrive in the WWF until the year after the first WrestleMania. Uh, mm -hmm. And also that he was going to be the number two guy behind Hulk Hogan, which in fairness is probably something that Vince may have actually promised him. Mm -hmm. Well, Vince has been known to overpromise and underdeliver. So, but I guarantee if he was the number two guy, he wouldn't have lasted long because he'd have been in a big argument with either Vince or Hulk before the the month was up. And I would like to have seen how that would have gone. The next death that Steve Austin was responsible for Roddy Piper's death and not Vince McMahon for once uh, after they had a podcasting conflict. So Piper had Will Sasso on. He was like a, like a sketch actor and I think he's been in some films. And he's a big wrestling fan. And apparently on, uh, I say apparently, I actually listened to it at the time, Will Sasso did Austin impressions and made Deborah McMichael, uh, Deborah uh, Williams jokes, or whatever her surname is these days, um, <clears throat> on Piper's uh, podcast. And then Steve Austin got wind of it and then got Piper thrown off podcast one. But somehow that has gone from getting Piper thrown off podcast one to Piper dying. Mm. That's a new one too. But at least he caught up to the times. He got up to the podcast, got up to the podcast era. Mm. That's the first death I've ever heard attributed to a podcast. Well. So it's first time for everything. Well, well, that was sort of like quite modern. How about this one? A few years ago, he claimed to have recorded, I believe recorded with a camcorder, I guess, the murder of two young lads on train tracks, the boys on the tracks murders in Arkansas on August 27th, 1987. And I did some but research. I, but I... Yes, but I heard of that. I heard something about that. I don't know exactly what I heard. It was, it was, it was out there, and in Arkansas, I'm thinking, well, what the hell? Okay, what research did you come up with? Oh, he was in Sacramento that day wrestling Butch Reed. Yeah, but he was allegedly, and he told that on himself, right? That got covered internationally. That story. That's, which that's is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Maybe that's how I heard about it. Yeah, it was, it was called by huge, like, the Daily Mail in this country, which you can't believe anything the Daily Mail says, really, for the most part. But they ran that story. How Did that you got read going. it? Yeah, he's full of shit. Did you? He wasn't there. <laughs> uh, well, to say that he was associated with. He should have been the the poster child for mental illness because he, there was something definitely wrong with Billy Jack, and it's it's really uh, 
how he lasted. How long did he last in the rest of the minutes? At least 10 years. Yeah, I think he retired in 95, but all, a bit, a bit his, his last major run was done in 88. When he left the WWF, he really didn't do much after, of note. And what did he do when he wasn't wrestling? What did he do? Well, he apparently... Uh, Kill people? ...made dossiers on various people for conspiracy theories from the Clintons to Vince McMahon literally being Satan. So I th- I feel that... Wait a minute, how, how lucrative a job is that to compile those dossiers? <laughs> I don't think he released them. I mean, he didn't put them for public... <laughs> Maybe he should have done and made a few 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 dollars out of it. Well, well, I like I, I met him twice. I met him in Florida and I met him in North Carolina, uh, met him in uh, Mid-Atlantic, which was WCW, the early years. But all I heard about him, even when he first started in Florida, was don't piss him off because he had a violent temper. Now, Florida at the time didn't have that big a roster, so everybody knew it. Everybody left him alone. And I'm kind of lucky because I took over booking Florida when Dusty left to go to uh, Crockett's territory, Mid-Atlantic, or WCW. That's when I took over. And when I went in, Billy Jack was there. And Dusty liked Billy Jack, and uh, and he was over there. They because he was a big, impressive-looking guy. But and and to me, one of the if if you talk to him, very well spoken. I mean, not aggressive in any way. And he was like, you could sit down and you could have breakfast with him and just talk normally. And then when I heard he was aggressive and like when he gets when he gets upset, he he's just violent. I, I'm saying, wait a minute, that's not the same guy. I, I know, but everybody I talked to had the same story, so they can't all be wrong. So I'm thinking, well, you know, my old saying, "Stay in your lane." I did, and get along with everybody you can, because you don't know if you piss them off, <clears throat> what they might do. So, and he was, he was big. He was about six four. And cut, and he would, you know, dealt towards on traps, and he was a big guy. So, and he went as uh, Billy Jack because of the movie, right? Yeah, I, I can't remember the name of the film, but it was like out in seventy one. Well, like no, I think character. it was. Yeah, I think it was just called Billy Jack. Yeah, and he wore that hat, and that's what he that's what he uh, based his character on, Billy Jack Haynes. Even though he didn't use the Haynes part, he just said Billy Jack. That's when you could actually <clears throat> copy things that was in common use back in those days and wouldn't get sued. 